Number nine, find all solutions of the given trigonometric equation in the interval closed at zero till two pi open. Before I start on, you can refer always to our video explanation section related to such topic to just pass by various tricks and various styles of such questions. However, I am going to explain in details of how to find the solution of such a trigonometric equation using two methods. Let me start by method one, which is the way that most students start usually by. And they will say, let us express the whole equation in sine and cosine. So I proceed. Tangent 3x is sine 3x over cosine 3x plus 1 equals secant which is 1 over cosine 3x and since cosine 3x is in the denominator we have to take this condition which is not equal to 0 otherwise we can't solve with this condition I can proceed by multiplying cosine 3x because I'm sure it's different from 0 and then I get sine 3x plus cosine 3x equals 1 we reach this identity of sine and cosine and now think for a few seconds can you replace anything right here can you simplify the form can you make it simpler the answer is simply no and here lies the trick you can do nothing but the only thing that you can do is to square both sides and then I say square both sides I get sine 3x plus cosine 3x squared equals to 1 squared expand then I get sine squared for this angle plus cosine squared for the second plus twice you multiply sine 3x by cosine 3x which is 1 the next step is to replace the identity whatever the angle is whenever you have sine squared something plus cosine squared the same thing this means 1 1 and 1 cancel to 0 so I am left with 2 sine 3x cosine 3x equals to 0 we proceed in making the whole form as one trigonometric function for this becomes the identity sine twice 3x which is 6x and it is equal to 0 this is a very essential step to make you can refer back to our math video explanation section related to this topic of why you should do so now finding the solution of this equation is so simple because we know that the sign is vertical and it is 0 when x is 0 and x is pi as well as the rotational angles that to obtain from 2k pi so we say that the solution is 6x equals 0 or pi plus 2k pi. I take this relation to a new page and we continue right here. But since I am after x, so I have to divide by 6 the whole relation and then I get x equals 0 over 6 is 0 or a pi over 6 plus a rotation of k pi over 3 because 3 down is 2 over 6 and I recall that we are working in an interval which is from 0 included to 2 pi excluded with k as integer so this is our solution for sure we are going to express in details the values of x but here lies the big trick which is there is a condition and we have to go back to recall this condition which is cosine 3x is different from 0 this means that the values obtained from this relation have to be excluded and then I have to go back and then replace this condition right here express it on and let me see what do I get and you ask yourself what is the angle that gives me a 0 in cosine so if this is my trigonometric circle we know this is my cosine and cosine is 0 when the angles are standing like a 90 and 270 in this case we say that 3x has to be different from pi over 2 
and 3 pi over 2 plus the rotation which is 2 k pi. Then I divide by 3 to get the values of x that they have to be excluded from my values and I get x not equal to pi over 6 and pi over 2 plus the rotation which is 2k pi over 3. And here lies the magic. Well, my solution is 0 and pi over 6 and there is a condition that pi over 6 has to be excluded. So I have to take this out. And the only solution would be the 0 plus k pi over 3. The next step is to write the values of x explicitly by just putting values of the integer k. It's enough to take k as positive because the negative are going to repeat the values of x. So the solution for x are only x equals k pi over 3. And then we say for k equals 0, I get x equals 0. k equals 1, I get x equals pi over 3 which is 60 degrees for k equals 2 I get x equals 2 pi over 3 which is twice 60 I get 120 degrees and then you have to ask yourself when do I have to stop well you have to stop according to the given interval at 360 and it has to be excluded so you go on as much as you have values for k Till you reach x to be within your interval, not more. I continue on, so I get k equals 3, then x equals 3 pi over 3, which is pi, which is 180 degrees. Then for k equals 4, I get x equals 4 pi over 3, which is 4 multiplied by 60, it's 240 degrees. This is included. For k equals 5, I get x equals 5 pi over 3, which is 60 by 5, 300 degrees. For k equals 6, I get x equals 6 pi over 3, which is 2 pi, and this is 2 pi not included, so I stopped right here. So the solution is, just list them on a line x equals I have 0 degrees 60 120 180 and then 240 300 degrees that's all how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 only 6 angles are my solution at last when you finish there's always one thing to do which is check your solution if it is correct or not so let us recall at the beginning what was the question and let me paste our solution and then use your calculator is it correct that tangent 3 times 0 plus 1 equals secant 3 times 0 is it true that tangent 3 multiplied by 60 plus 1 equals secant 180 is it true this and that and you can check it it will be true that's all the whole thing was method 1, so let me just go to method 2, and it will take only one or two lines maximum, and what follows will be the same procedure. Method 2 just based on the given, and a student with a good uh, standard in trigonometry will start right away just solving, and we can see, given tangent 3x plus 1 equals secant 3x, well I can do nothing about this relation what I can do is just square it and in squaring I get tangent square for 3x plus 1 plus 2 tangent 3x equals secant square 3x then one easily can recognize that this is an identity which is secant square 3x and secant square 3x on the right they cancel so you end up with 2 tangent 3x equals 0 Divide by 2, you get tangent 3x equals 0. And then, what angle gives you a tangent a 0? And this happens with a 0 and a pi. So it is a 0 and a pi, and the rotation for tangent is a k pi. Then we divide by 3, we get x equals 0, and pi over 3 plus k pi over 3. 
then with a little checking you can recognize that pi over 3 is included within the 0 plus k pi over 3. You can check it up and then the answer is only guaranteed by 0 plus k pi over 3 which is in fact k pi over 3. That's all. And this is the relation that we end by after excluding and after working the whole thing up. This sums up solving the following trigonometric equation in two methods, one which is longer, the other is very short, and it guarantees a solution without any exception, without any recognition of a certain condition, and it's up to you which method you uh, just follow. Finish.